Howdy y'all, it's TJ, and this is The Pulp Review. I cover trad and indie books that are good for your mental health, and I only review stuff I like. No score, just recommendations and a spoiler-free rundown of the good stuff. You ready? Let's rock! Dawn of the Broken Sword by Kitsun Chia. The blurb, Li Ming is a small town boy with big dreams. In the era of the five states and ten corporations, the immortals of the Zhanghu stand head and shoulders above the masses. Li Ming aspires to join their ranks. But the world of the rivers and lakes is fraught with peril. Deception and danger lurk in the shadows. Bloodthirsty beasts roam the wilds. Martial cultivators constantly battle for wealth, glory, and status. Armed with his ancestral swordbreaker, Li Ming enters the Zhanghu as a Biahang, eager to deliver justice with steel and magic and to chase the dream of immortality. But first, he must prove himself worthy. I followed the creation log of Dawn of the Broken Sword eagerly from the moment Mr. Chia announced the premise on Twitter many moons ago. As a sometime reader of Only the Best Lit RPG, the idea of cultivation intrigued me. Having also read the author's Dungeon Samurai and heard his opinions on the genres involved, I simply had to see what his take on this would be. Superficially, these are indeed what the book feels like, an MMO-like world without the intense gamification of Lit RPG and plus the deep tradition of martial arts cultivation. Our hero, Li Ming, inhabits a world of clear and rigid structure with a known and well-trodden path set before him, a concrete place in the world that is nicely juxtaposed against the mysteries that arise as the metaplot sets in. Being that this is my first cultivation novel, I can't say whether this style of plot is standard, but it feels like one part action, one part slice of life. It's a really cool life, too. We follow Li Ming as he enters a world he is aware of but is not yet trained into. We train with him, meet challenges at his side, and feel his awe at the mysteries he discovers along the way. This is not really an adventure, though it is a journey of sorts, so the plot structure may feel different to Western readers. But rest assured, there is no shortage of action, violence, and intrigue. The two juiciest series threads, one of them being the mystery of the titular Swordbreaker, find their footing over the course of the book and set us up for more to come, no doubt with even greater intensity. Li Ming reminds me a lot of the author's Heroes Unleashed superhero Amp, which isn't a bad thing at all. He's fiercely dedicated to his training and utterly concerned with honor and heroism. It's unclear to me at the moment how his hunger for immortality will be or is affected by those facets, but I assume those answers will come in time. Li Ming's drive to be the best version of himself is palpable, but one thing that didn't entirely connect for me was the hint that he might have anger issues, though I may have misread the author's intent in that regard. I like that certain things, particularly unfairness or injustice, make him angry, but while his anger does threaten to cause issues, I didn't feel it viscerally whenever the emotion asserted itself. Not as a flaw or a foible, anyway. This is a really nitpicky craft comment to be sure. The character is extremely engaging and more than worthy to follow to the end of this road. The other prominent characters are distinct, and it's cool to see everyone's varying martial styles in play. It'll be interesting to see how Lee's friend and competitive rival's relation to the series plot will play out. Chia's planning and diligence come through as always. The world is lovely and intriguing and clearly well thought out. I love the mashup of cyberpunk and a martial arts dominated society. I felt that the author's prose in this piece had more of the emotion, passion, and beauty I typically wish to see more of in the other works I've read by him. It's clear that this subject matter and world are something he cares deeply about and that crafting a proper cultivation novel is paramount to him. He was already a good writer before, and with each installment he gets better. All of this love and passion comes through, especially in the descriptions of forms and cultivation magic. This is a wonderful book, and one I'm glad I started my cultivation exposure with. I can only hope that, though Chia has set the bar pretty high for other cultivation works, he hasn't set it too high for me to enjoy some of them as much as I did this book. So grab your copy today, and make sure to leave a review after you read it. Hey, I've got books too. Check out my heavy metal fantasy adventure, Heroes Metal. A young spellsword falls in with a band of living legends and warns them of an attack from the Hollow Earth. The surface kingdoms brace themselves to fight an ancient threat from deep within their planet. You can grab books one and two separately or in this handy Demibus edition. You're gonna love it. So thanks for watching, subscribe for more, like the video if you enjoyed the video. If you didn't enjoy the video, well, good journey.